The first mod in this video introduces a new underground villager to the game. He spawns exclusively in mineshafts and features a unique trading GUI. Initially, he trades basic items, but as you level him up, he offers a new set of pickaxes, each with amazing features. You can use the new emerald anvil to repair and upgrade these pickaxes. Explosive pickaxe allows you to trade gunpowder for a small explosion. Amethyst pickaxe has a special right-click ability that transforms nearby blocks into amethyst blocks. Emerald Pickaxe grants the player luck and hero of the village effects upon activation. Legendary Monsters is a mod that adds new challenging mobs to the game. Each mob drops a unique reward, such as a weapon with a special ability. Additionally, it features friendly creatures that you can ride, tame, or recolor by holding shift and right-clicking with valuable items. The new bosses of this mod are really hard, and you should prepare yourself for a challenging fight. The bosses can be found in all three dimensions, perfect for explorers. Night Quest is an adventure mod that includes over 30 armors, some with passive abilities, weapons, mobs with special abilities, and much more. The main item in the mod is the Great Essence, which can be crafted by combining four small essences obtained by killing monsters. It is used to craft most of the armors and equipment. It must be used on a Great Chalice, a special cauldron. By adding four of this large essence to it, the content becomes collectible with another item, the Empty Goblet. The mod also adds many new mobs, like the Strong Knight. When you manage to damage it enough, it activates its second phase. In this phase, every four seconds it poisons every player around it and also heals itself. Additionally, it summons bombs around itself. There are also mobs like Lizzie and the Angry Swamp Man. The new tomb dungeon can be encountered in desert biomes. It generates with a random set of rooms, some of which contain the chamber block. There is also a brand new skeleton type, the Desert Skeleton. It will attack you with magic or with a new sword. There are rare and common chambers, each requiring its own type of key, which can occasionally be dropped by the new mobs. Once opened, the chambers give a random configurable loot item. If you don't have a key, a chamber can be taken into your inventory and opened later. This mod adds a magical floating island to your world, complete with a majestic traditional Chinese tower. Moreover, explore a hidden cave within the island, brimming with secret loot and a small challenge. You'll also find villagers inside the tower, ready for trading. This mod adds a ceramic bucket to the game. You can craft the bucket with three clay balls, but you can't use it yet. You first have to cook the bucket to get the usable ceramic bucket. The bucket acts like a normal bucket and can hold water, fish, and more. There are just two differences from a normal bucket. If the ceramic bucket contains lava, it melts as soon as you empty it, and all ceramic bucket variants can be dyed like leather armor. This mod adds a desert stone house to the game, perfect for starting out and staying safe from monsters during the first nights. It also provides a nice spot to trade with the villagers inside the house. You can find this structure only in desert biomes. Or and more is a mod that introduces numerous new ores to the game. These ores allow you to craft brand new armor and tools, some of which come with special effects. One of the standout additions is the Demonite Ore, which surpasses even Netherite in strength. It can be found deep underground near lava and requires a Netherite pickaxe to mine. Demonite armor and tools are exceptionally powerful, making them ideal for in-game equipment. This mod adds a small sawmill house to the game, complete with a villager worker and various forest-themed loot inside. The house is fully decorated internally. You can find this structure in all types of forest biomes in the overworld.
This mod introduces numerous custom medieval-inspired structures, each bringing its own unique aesthetic and challenges to the game. From ancient castles to ruined dungeons, some of these structures hide secret rooms and items waiting to be discovered. Inside these dungeons, you'll encounter custom-made mobs that add an extra layer of excitement to your exploration. Additionally, there are small bosses within the structures that can drop special loot, rewarding brave adventurers who dare to face them. This mod also enhances the pillagers by introducing several new structures to the game, including a massive mining camp teeming with mobs and rich in ores. But not all structures you encounter on your journey are hostile. In the lighthouse, you can find a new villager offering some special trades. This mod also introduces underground structures like the Silverfish Cave. This mod adds a new faction to the game, the Pillager Legion. They are often present in the desert and badlands, but be careful, you may still come across one of their outposts in the rest of the world. There is also a giant castle with a lot of loot to find. The Legion is equipped with weapons and armor that have the effectiveness of netherite but are less durable than diamond. You can obtain their equipment as well. The Legion can even be found in the Nether, in a new structure with special mobs. Moreover, the mod comes with new themed building blocks. The last mod in this video was made by a viewer and adds a new cat dimension. This dimension is really colorful, friendly, and you can find cats all over the place. Inside the dimension, you will find two new structures. The castle, where you can find loot and a portal to get back home, and the cat tree, a small jump and run challenge that gives you a small reward if you finish it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know if you have any mod suggestions. Check out the description to find the links to all mods and leave a comment if you have any questions.